surprised they came out first down. down.
Cairns and uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, you win eight football games, you do some things right. right. No, no doubt. doubt. Oh, Bolton Bonds down, down one, one and again. Again. Sonny Sonny looks looks back to the near side, all they're going to pitch it back to the far side. side. That's Jake trying to get to the corner, running it down from behind your name. Either the fourth or fifth time. 
we take the speculate on numbers, we can only see the six on the jersey. That actually Josh Boyd, number 61 for the Patriots, he also was a starter. Plays on the offensive and defensive line for the Patriots, number 61. Looks like maybe it's took a hard hit, and I had his elbow run a little bit, but he's off making his way to the sideline now. Good to see him making it off underneath his own power. A little over and check him out on the sideline. Now the Patriots will start this drive from their own 27 yard line. Definitely their best field position tonight. Last two drives have been started from inside their own 20 and over 15 yard line. Parks don't need to get something cool offensively. They've been reading out on their first two drives tonight. Put the backfield behind Connor Fife. Single wide out the east side of the Patriots fight. George Rock going to try and roll up for Catone Sims. He's got Catone down the sideline. Just overthrows him a little bit. And it's incomplete. Good job defensively though. He's hit by David Day. Basically staying step for step with the tone on the run that time, down the sideline. Uh, I'll tell you what, they're coming out, they're playing, they're, they're basically playing a nine-man front, and they're setting those two quarters out there on the island and say, hey, we're going to take you there and cover them. Well, nice job defensively covering the wideouts. Two or three-step drop, and Mike just tried to lock it up there, and just a little too long that time for Sims. Second and ten for the Patriots. In motion out of the backfield, Cardinelli. So the pitch is to Keith Banks. Banks looking for an opening. Not much room. Keith Banks did just maybe a couple. Well, I'll tell you, the two big kids were pressed in the 70s and 72. The, uh, the two defensive tackles inside, they, they forced it in, and uh, they stayed their lanes and, and, and took the cutback. Banks, Banks was there. They had the lead blocker, and uh, he tried to cut back inside. They were waiting on him. Well, as you said, he is a big boy. 299 pounds. Yeah, Travis Hall is 6'2". And his partner, Kevin Hall, is 252. So those are two pretty big high school football players, and they move pretty good. Park another third and long. Fight to the near side has its own shims. And then he has it for a wheeling part first down across the 40 to the 41. And that ball was thrown just a little bit behind him because his defensive back had fallen out. Sims might have had a chance to do something with that, but he does a nice job. Come away with the reception. Well, the thing is, I, I think they, they run the two corners off and uh, everything that they've thrown before that pass was, was a bomb. And this time they just run the little soft route, a little out route, and have it go quick with a quick first down. So I think, I think they're going to do that. But as you can look, they're setting up there in a four or five look. Mike, under pressure, trying to lob it up that time. He had to get rid of it quick. He got pressure, and as the thing was, they, they brought him, they didn't bring any backers that time, they just brought the four down linemen. Uh, the two big kids, Hall and Campbell, and then Anderson, who's 5'8", 203, playing the left defensive end. Uh, they're, 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 they're pretty good uh, rush people, and number 44 uh, is uh, Hutchison, and he, he, he's listed at, two, uh, at uh, 160. Uh, playing the other defensive, but I'll tell you what, he looks bigger than 160 to me. But Dino Rob gives it off to Dino Cardelli. Dino gets up to about the 45 yard line, gain of about four. So it'll be sad. third and six for the Patriots now. Aren't they been faced with a lot of third and longs, too, so far? Yeah, they have. And uh, once again, on that play, they brought the uh, Prince of Rutland outside linebacker. Uh, they're, they're bringing the backers just about every play. And, uh, they're bringing different backers. Uh, you know, sometimes they're bringing the inside, and sometimes they're bringing the, and they're bringing the outside backers, and sometimes they're bringing the ball. So uh, it's a pretty good scheme they're doing right now. Here's Mike. They're looking to set it to the near side. He gets it out to Cardinelli, but not much to do that time. All the great on him and makes the tackle. Yeah, picks up only one yard. Well, the Patriots are going to be forced to punt again. Jesse. That's a pretty good punt away. Maybe 
Washington 10 for the Tigers for their own 20. Well, on the other center, Tony in motion to the east side. They'll give it to Eric Haas. He'll run up over the 20 to about the 22 yard line. Game of about two. It's going to be second and about eight now for Princeton. Once again, they come out and run the power to the wing and, uh, uh, you know, picked up, but once again, yeah, only picked up a yard or two, but very difficult to bring down. And the, the big thing is, they're with the, 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 the battle two position, yeah. Yeah. and they're around the clock, and they're taking down the clock, and, uh, you know, once again, I, I would say they'd probably be happy to stay this way the rest of the game. Oh, no yeah. doubt. Thompson's a good size, 5'10", about 170 pounds. Here comes the cross, and he's definitely in your own.
Jack will advise me, but I think if you would have cut it back up inside, he may have been a little bit better off. But once again, it's easy to see up here. Big first down for the Patriots. They lose the six. The Princeton 48 split back behind Fife. There's a little soft drop. That's exactly what I said. Ball put in by Jesse Harris. It'll be eight of about eight or nine. And we're going to have a short second down for Wheeling Park. See, what's happening there, uh, Scott, is they're playing man coverage. The parts come off, and they run those deep routes, and they have to give them. They have to give them. Because if you can't stand there 10 yards away, they get the cover. If you give them the parts, it's breaking the soft route or blow out. And that's what we talked about earlier.
the clock. 20 seconds, clock still running. They get lined up. Probably will spike the ball with 17 seconds to go, and I think they're going to attempt a field goal with Justin Harold. And he's coming out number seven. Harold, the ball is down at about the 16-yard line, so they'll be taking it from about the 23, so it'll be about a 33-yard field goal from the left hash. Yeah, that's an impressive thing if you look up there in a minute. 20 seconds, they drove 80 yards without throwing a pass. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty good execution. Uh, and this young man, he missed the last one, but he's got a very strong leg. Here's the snap. The snap to kick it is up. Fake. Big play. Big play.
it's worked twice. Uh, you know, they don't have to worry about going for two or anything. Now, you know, I think the, the big thing for them is just their offense now. Yeah. We, we saw there on the touchdown run for 32 yards. Part just their inability to tackle with them. Here's a loose ball. Jesse Harris is going to pick it up. He'll go to 20, 25. Big running roll over the 30, spinning up to about the 36 yard line. So Mark's going to have good deep position. Harris in a nice return for the Patriots. First and 10 for the 36. I'll tell you what, Princeton does an excellent job on covering kicks. You know, Parks kind of set up some, some returns. Uh, you know, and, and this falls back to the 36 yard line. But, you know, the boy uh, ran all the way and picked up about 10 yards. So, you know, it was a bad day. They covered well. Uh, okay, Parks out into a slot. This is a little different look than it goes most of the night. Marlon and Harris to the east side. We're going to run on the E way, getting to room. The E banks over the 40 to about the 41 yard line. Right. There's the quick stop. Marley, Marley had 
carrying the carrier. Gain of maybe two. Maybe three. Second of about seven. You see Park again trying to count somebody up in that middle portion of the field. Really not much running room. Yeah, they're, they're, they're coming up in there. And I'll tell you something. You know, there's things you can do against the four uh, inside. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, Park is, 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 is reaching and uh, you know, they're, they're changed up a little bit now. Parks into the spread, into a trip to right set. And it is through the quick out to the banks. And uh, he's trying to get to the corner. Banks gets it up to about the 45 yard line. He's going to be about a half a yard shy, I think, of a wheeling park first down. It's going to be third and about a yard. Uh, but I'll tell you what, once again, he's got that great pursuit. And uh, I don't know how great the speed is, but. That's the press of the very day after. I know Park has excellent speed. Mm -hmm. yeah, and here's where, you know, you're, you're not in a bad position on third and short. You should probably just try, like to try to run straight ahead. The Princeton's got a good job of slowing that down. Look at the card now. He'll go straight ahead. He'll have the first down. He got over the 45. Not by much. He didn't make it by much. But, uh, you know, they're coming up there. And I'll tell you, those two big inside kids.
it was just a, a very good high school football game, really. And, uh, uh, you know, the way that this Princeton team runs the ball, they're going to give some teams trouble. No doubt. Yeah. You know, look at David Day. He had a huge night here at Wheeling Island Stadium. But, uh, you know, you know, Park is a pretty good football yeah. team. Yeah. And, you know, this is a pretty good football team. The Park will finish the year at 9-2.